I agree with a lot of the things they teach. And that's why I wanted to share these lessons with you tonight. So again, I'm going to try to keep this under uh, eight minutes if I'm lucky. Um, and we'll see how I do. But uh, the first lesson they talk about is influence. And I know this is something that all of us have have heard before. I don't know. I think it was Jim Rohn. I don't know if he first said it or made it famous, but um, talking about the that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And uh, you're right that the people that you're surrounded by influence you and, and in ways that are probably more profound than we realize and maybe than we'd like to admit, right? Um, and, and I've seen this to be true in my life as I, and this is not to say, I don't want this to come off like I've ditched my old friends or anything like that. I've still got, I'm still best friends with the kids that I went to kindergarten with for goodness sake. But um, I've also found uh, supplemental peer groups and, and people that have become very dear friends of mine who are playing this game of life at a different level in all realms, whether it's business, family, they're just very intentional and living life in a way that is, um, is exciting to me. And as I spend more and more time with them, I find that my life starts to mirror theirs rather than that of my old drinking buddies and that sort of thing. So um, just be conscious of that understand that who you're hanging out with is important. Um, the next one on the list here is the multiplier. And I'm huge on this too. This is, um, you know, another word for it would be synergy. They call it the multiplier effect in this book, but um, it's basically the concept that uh, one plus one doesn't always equal two. If, if you have a, a environment of collaboration with like-minded people, one plus one can actually equal three. Um, the saying that I always get backwards is, uh, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, right? And this, if, if, if this idea intrigues you at all and you're a nerd like me and you want to dive into it, Think and Grow Rich uh, by Napoleon Hill, he was the first one to really define a mastermind. And a mastermind is based on this multiplier or synergy effect. So uh, highly recommend that. If you're even more of a dork and Think and Grow Rich is too quick a read for you, it is based on a probably seven or 800 page and two volume encyclopedia called the laws of success volume one and two also by Napoleon Hill. Um, and that's crazy out there, but it's a really good read as well. Um, the next one on the list here very quickly is accountability. And you know, I don't need to say much on this, right? We, we all know that, um, in order to increase our performance, one way we can do that is to increase the accountability surrounding that performance. And so, uh, my big point on this is, and I'm all for accountability groups or accountability partners and using tools, apps to track your habits. I do all of these things and they're great. I'm not discounting them, but I do want to emphasize the simple truth that <clears throat> external or extrinsic accountability, the things that comes through, um, you know, a peer group or anything like that as valuable as it is, it's not as strong as intrinsic accountability, right? You want to use those things to practice and exercise your, mu your accountability muscles, but the goal is to get to the point where you are intrinsically, internally accountable to yourself, where when you say, I'm going to go to the gym every day this month, you don't need other people to keep tabs on you. You said it, now you just do it, right? It's an integrity thing. Now, I'm nowhere near perfect in that realm, um, but it is something that I'm very conscious of and I focus a lot on. And I think it's, um, we can all benefit by, by underscoring that point. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, fourth on the list, authenticity. Here's the deal. Pretending is never better. It often <clears throat> feels easier, right? Authenticity can feel harder but I promise you it's the quickest route to success. And we're going to touch on this a little bit. I'm going to share with you guys the direct mail letter that I send to, to people. And one of the biggest requests I get is, Hey Mike, can I have your, your, the letter you send out as a template? And I get where folks are coming from when they ask that question. And I've asked it of other people in the past. So I'm not going to pretend I haven't, but <clears throat> now I don't give it out anymore. I'm sharing it with you guys tonight as members of this group in hopes that I can trust you not to send it out because really it doesn't do anybody any good. Uh, one, most of the people that you send the letter to have probably seen this letter. And more importantly, if it's not your voice, if it's not you, it's just not going to ring true for the person. You know, maybe you could fool them while they're reading your letter. But then when you get on the phone, you either have to act like the guy who wrote the letter when, when you're not, I am, uh, or 
uh, you know, play this role. And, and you don't want to do that. The, we succeed by forging real relationships with people. And, and the way we do that is through authenticity. So I'll leave that there. The next two are big ones, purpose. And I have to apologize in advance, guys, if you hear me clearing my throat a lot or coughing. I'm three weeks into getting over a cold here. So I apologize if I cough in your ear. But um, the next one is purpose. And and I've, I've talked about this a lot, so I'm not going to go too deep into it. But the wealth that we create in self-storage is not the end goal. It's it's a means to an end. It's a vehicle to get us a the kind of life we want. It's a tool for us to use, but it's not the end. And so if as of right now, your goal is to get rich in storage, there's nothing wrong with that, except that it's not enough. You need to tell me why you want to get rich in storage. You need a big why so that Three months from now, when you've been looking for deals and you haven't found one yet, you have the incentive and the motivation, that big why to lean on so that you can persevere and persist through. Um, generally speaking, you know you've gotten to either your real purpose or one of your real purposes when your why involves relationship, contribution, or personal growth. Those are the three core areas that we as humans um, have inherent to us. So um, take that for what it's worth. And I'm going to kind of transition into the connection here, which picks up on one of those three core areas, the, the relationships. Um, but when I talk about connection, I look at it in two ways. It's one, your relationship with other people, but also with your relationship with yourself. And the reason is because, um, and there's a quote I love, I don't know who originally said it, but Jim Carrey is the one who every, every month I listen to the same video and he says it. And that's, uh, you know, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. And to me, that just resonates. I think that's incredibly powerful. And I, I've tried to embody that. Um, and what I've been learning as I've been exploring that idea is that, you can't affect other people to the greatest extent possible unless you're true to yourself, right? So you've got to know yourself as cliche as that sounds. Um, and that's what I love about the storage thing is we make at risk of sounding immodest. We make so much money in so few hours every week that I have the time every day to spend literally, if I work a 40 hour work week, 20 of it's on this stuff, like just learning how to have a cooler life, working on me, trying to become better. And, the more I figure out and tap into who I really am and what I want to get out of my time on this planet, the more I'm able to forge real solid relationships with other people. Um, and so that being said, these six effects, as I've just outlined them very briefly, are all uh, described more completely in the Tribe of Millionaires. Um, definitely recommend the book. I think you can get it for free plus shipping. It's one of those you know, uh, promotional things and, and well worth the seven or eight bucks, whatever it costs. Um, but these are the six things that highly successful people, millionaires, um, and beyond have in common. And so I would encourage you to, um, as quickly